Hello everyone, my name is Glacy and welcome back to another episode in the Vanilla Ice Cream SMP. We've... We've been a little bit bricked. <laughs> the fear cam was by earlier just to, uh, cause shenanigans and mess around and make sure I didn't run into somebody else's lore before I was supposed to. That has... The bees keep injuring themselves in the campfires. I should probably do something about that. Uh, this led to you. You're a fisherman because of that barrel and no other reason. Uh, this cobblestone box was me. <laughs> I figured I would plan out the kind of structure that would wrap up our um, flower farm. That's the word. <laughs> so it's uh, it's been encased slightly. I've been tree farming and oh ah yes I'll get to that. But first I sleep. No oh, my bed. Thank you. Hello armadillo. What do you want to be? What do you want to do? Why are you here? Why do you have Noah's face? Anyway, um, y'all have not been giving name suggestions, so I haven't been naming stuff. So, uh, I would appreciate some name suggestions, because I got nothing. If you want to follow the same vein as Helios, um, I'll probably be doing that once I do some googling. But over here, you may notice that I had a lot of beef with the river, so I fixed it between episodes. There, it's now a little bit more of, like, a river bed. And, like, there's more coming up out from the riverbed. Like, it's dug the channel into the ground a bit more. Uh, I could fix up the bottom just a little bit more, probably. But I like it. I like it a lot more than I used to, especially. I've littered it with flowers. And over here, we have Podzel. I like the Podzel. I want it to work. I need to... Um, I don't have Silk Touch. So, <laughs> not all of this is going to be Podzel. I want to do some grass, I want to do some moss, I want to put buildings and stuff around. This bridge is probably location permanent style temporary, um, but I like the vibe. <laughs> and I figured it would make more sense to give a reason to the water being here. It's like, it's just popping out of this wall. Well, it's also popping out of a spring, which is down there and warm and bubbly. But ignore the fact that those bubbles pull you downward. It, it emits light and is warm looking. Also, yes, that is plain netherrack. And it doesn't look that bad. I thought it would look worse, but it actually kind of looks okay. I kind of like it a lot. So there's like a vein of netherrack coming out of, oh, hello, rain. This little dusty dry spot. And why might that be? Well, please work, please work, please work. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! I linked myself up to bio nether tunnels. Yay! I've also been working on them a bunch. Uh, a lot of the Justin Mendel area is a lot more complete. We aren't gonna run over there right now, but uh, yay! <laughs> <sighs> I have my own portal now. It's pretty great. And you, uh, lily pad, hop on out of there. It does look pretty good in the rain, too. If I had, like, cooler shaders, that might be cooler, but I don't really have any, so I want to set them up. <laughs> the one thing I'm a little mad about the water is that it is flowing that way a lot, and this way a little on this spot, but I think... I think that's fine. I think I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave it. The uh, portal really lights up that spot. I don't know how I feel about that. I might hide the portal a little bit more so it's even darker in there. There's more that can be done. There's more fiddling and things to do, but I like this side of the river a lot more than I used to. Uh, the azalea tree is temporary, but the vibe is eternal, if that makes sense. The general gist of, I kind of want trees here. That big tree is for more puzzle. I like the vibe more. The vibe's coming together, but the vibe also needs some buildings, and there are plans for some buildings. And I need to be able to move these beehives, which means I need silt touch. <laughs> we'll get to that. Another thing I didn't show off last episode because it was recorded in a fever state of get gotta solve the, the gotta do the thing, gotta... You, you get the idea, is that over here I've set up a slightly easier access way to all of our underground stuff. There's a cool bridge over lava. There's a lot of stairs. More lava. More stairs. 
then we go all the way down here and now we've got a gift as well as if we go down here there's the spider farm and if we go down here there's a skeleton farm they're all near each other which is very useful for me this doesn't lift and drop them which i should probably make it do um I should probably do that. This is the simpler version of any skeleton farm ever. But, you know, I like it. And, you know, we need bones for the bone meal. And arrows, because we still don't have a mending bow. And organizational system, because we don't have one of those. I think now that um, we have this cool skelly grinder and the spider farm, which I think we should sell candles, because we have so much beeswax. I want a cool shop idea, though. And I, I have a lot of ideas, but I'm not, I, I'm not quite ready to execute on them yet. I do have an idea for a potential storage room, but I'm slightly closer to being able to execute on that. I need more blocks, though. <laughs> more blocks, more time, and a good place to put it. But I think now we deserve some slightly better tools. We've, we've got levels. We can get, we can get better tools. I, I think that's, come on. I think that's a good usage of our time. And killing spiders. I also put a clock down here, so I stop going up into mob town when I leave the caves. <laughs> also, maybe glow squid can spawn in there? I I don't know how this happened, but I guess glow squid can spawn in there very rarely. It's not really a glowing farm. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be. Also, they totally get stuck on each other. It's not a perfect design. It's two sp spider spawners hobbled together. It's, it's fine. <laughs> Also, I've been smelting down all of my extra nether bricks. And, um, there are a lot of them. <laughs> when you're digging out the nether tunnels, you, you, wrong chest. Well, you tend to get a lot, but that's not even including this or, um, what other, other chests I have them stashed in. Uh, a little over here. Yeah. There's a lot. <laughs> I think we want a Riptide Trident because they are fun. Um, I think we can also put uh, the one that makes it deal more damage on there. And do we have an Unbreaking book? Anywhere? Just simple. Well, we can't use Density on stuff because we don't have the mace, so we do. <laughs> also, I think it's about time we put together a better bow, but we're out of levels. That is not a problem. I have something cool to show you. Whoop. Oh, that's always slightly anxiety inducing. Huh. <sighs> anyway, hello. <laughs> I forgot it was so pretty! Ah! Okay, how do we get there? Oh, man. I forgot how to get there. Um. Uh-oh. Did I... Is it... Is it right back the way I came? Perhaps? Um. Oh, dear. Uh. Oh boy. I did not build this. Uh, this was Goose. This was all Goose. And it's so pretty. Oh, okay. How do I get there? Also, don't look at it in the Enderman. Also, ignore the fact that I still need to mine, like, 50 stacks of endstone for endstone bricks for a thing out for the nether tunnels. I could make a staircase right now, but but nobody asked me to. And what if, what if other people want to do stuff with this base and, you know, all that stuff? That being said, oh, holy cow. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I'm making a bit of a staircase. Oh, it's just an ominous little ladder right here, isn't it? Oh boy. Um, I'm going to set up a proper staircase. And if I need to move it, uh, so be it. I, I'm aware. I, I wanted this. I'm the one who wanted the staircase in the first place. And there we go.
go. Just a little tiny staircase. Goose, if you hate it, rip it out. Um, anyone, if you hate it, rip it out. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi. This isn't anxiety inducing at all for me, for no reason. A reason? Many reasons, perhaps? Gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that thing. Hi! Why are you free? You scare me. I'm just gonna... Just gonna pretend you're not here. And, uh, just gonna do a few of these. Oh, that's loud. Okay. Ow. Ow. Much better. Ow. Okay, well, uh, they hurt. Why do they hurt so much? world may never know. Alright, uh, first order of business. That! Pretty good bow. We are going to eat that bow. Because it's cool. That was all of our levels. <laughs> uh, let's, let's, uh, get those, get those numbers back up. Am I gonna break this sword? It's unenchanted, and I do need to replace it. And I didn't bring any of my important stuff with me because the void. The void is anxiety inducing for me. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Okay, that's 30. I didn't bring any lapis either. Well. Let's just, uh. Let's just leave here with more that we'll hopefully need for a while. Ow! So calm and quiet when they're not screaming at you. It's kind of nice. Okay, 40 levels is probably good. 40 levels is probably good. Now we turn back on our hostile mob sounds. Just a little bit. And we... We don't leave. Does this do what I think it does? No. Okay. Are these guys all mad at me? No. No. <laughs> don't, don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm running away. <laughs> Uh oh. What? Why? Oh, oh no, that's not good. Oh no, that's not where that goes anymore. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh, that ain't good at all. Oh dear, did the farm break? Does our Enderman broken on the server in general? Did I need to replace all my stuff anyway, but I still had a kind of nice fortune pick. <sighs> Pain. Oh dear. Looks like we need to start our di our next diamond making scheme. Or we need a better functioning storage room so we can be a more functional human being. Oh dear. I don't know why that happened. I don't know how Minecraft works. I, I don't know how this server works because I know it's been broken related to Enderman for... Possibly eternity. <laughs> That's why I don't like the void. Or end rating in general, or anything end related. Especially when Endermen can be such jerks to you. But my staircase is nice. Oh. Uh... Are they s a universal aggression? Yup. Universal aggression. 
Oh, all of my stuff is gone. <laughs> Until those mobs despawn. Which isn't gonna happen, is it? Or I kill them. I kill them before they can get to me. This might be bad. This might be a complete and utter mistake. But I think it's worth trying. <laughs> oh dear, not again. I don't want to be in another death loop. Oh hey, we've got the we got the best number in the world as our death count right now. I don't want to ruin that. <laughs> uh... Okay. Oh great. That's just instant death. Did I leave anything here? No, I didn't. That's just instant death. Or is it? Can we juke them? I think my blocks are gone. Which was the only part of this endeavor worthwhile. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, hmm. Oh, never mind. Here they are. Here they I have a plan now. <sighs> Sometimes you gotta know when to give up. Mm, I don't want to give up, but I should. I... I should. Oh wait, hold on, here's an idea. <sighs> now, now I'm just sad. Wow. Oh. That's all my garbage. And a trapped XP farm. <laughs> oh dear. Well, this is Minecraft. You gotta learn from your mistakes. And you gotta accept the fact that sometimes you die a lot. And you rebuild stronger than before. It might be time to go mining. <laughs> Which I don't want to do. Because <laughs> I just lost my really good diamond pick. Which had efficiency for and fortune. <laughs> <sighs> oh well. Let's, uh... Let's figure something out. <laughs> Assuming... All is lost. I can probably get away. Oh, my diamond helmet! That was a gift from Dop Dop. Aww. And we do have the one that's a gift from Mendel, which I have since put Unbreaking 3 on and given an appropriate nickname. I guess. For the rest. Oh, and my soul speed. That's fine. It's fine. We will survive. Well, we, okay, we already died. We will recover. That's the word. <laughs> we will recover. Covering is what we do. I think it's about time we got a banner. Let's let's uh let's do that real quick. Can I dye the whole banner, or is it going to start as a white banner for what I've done? Can I do that? I cannot. Okay, well... We can work with this. Also, keeping this- keeping a box like this stocked is what gets you those in your backyard. Just say it. <laughs> Before I get too completely off the rails, also need axe shovel oh my bow i just made that thing hold on we had a couple of spares with this thing um we anvil all of this together we can get a good bow with my zero levels is not gonna happen wait contingency plan i have been smelting okay you can't see here but i've been smelting lots of stuff through these let's go wait 
Oh, we take those. We take those. Even a little bit more. Let's see. That was weeks of work. <laughs> that means we can do this. That's a good place to start. <laughs> um, I am the kind of person who carries around spears and a crafting bench. I'll need to go get more arrows, but that's do doable. Don't want to spend all my diamonds on stuff because I'm paranoid like that. Uh, how do I make banner patterns again? Is it paper? I don't want to waste these. Ever. Um, Oxide Daisy. Oh, we glad we didn't lose that. Glad I dropped that off <laughs> before running out. Hey, okay, we got a flower church banner pattern. Um, because dyes are we thinking? I'm thinking we're gonna need some oranges, some pinks, maybe orange, pink. I think we can, those are the colors of our shulker boxes, so maybe we can do something. With this white banner. Can we get like a gradient? Yes, we can. Um, maybe we also some black. No, I want that the other way around. Okay, and then I want the purple gradient coming up from the bottom. That's not that that's not as cool as I want it to be. Um you undo this kind of thing with a cauldron? Oh wait, we had brown banners from that time we stole a bunch of brown banners. I need a new water bucket. Yes I do. And a storage room, but who's counting? Me. I'm I'm counting. <laughs> Let's we can get our water from the river. That's that's a comforting thought in all of this. Oop. Oh. <laughs> Guess that's there. More of a workstation. Yeah. Okay. So purple up from the bottom. Still looks good. Um we do a pink flower. That's not as legible as I think I'd like it to be. Hmm. We'll and then we'll do the we'll do the dot. That also kind of looks garbage. What if we put the pink on top of that? Another pink dye. It's it's okay. And you know what? That's fine. It's a work in progress. If you've got any fun banner ideas for the vibe of this area, which isn't really visible right now because I haven't built anything, you can comment them. Uh, I'm gonna make a copy of this banner before I forget. <laughs> Both exactly the same. But one of them is now my shield. That look awful. Eh, it's it's fine. It's 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 fine for now. <laughs> we'll put this in there for safekeeping. Um, and that up there, I guess. We're so organized. <laughs> no, we're not. I got really good at kelp math. I don't know why. I mean, it's twenties, so it's fairly easy. <laughs> but like, you know. Does make the double setup a little annoying, but eh, it's fine. The reason these cocoa beans that I've been farming them so much is because I've been composting them for the compost, and then I also sometimes shove bone meal made from bones into my little compost thing. So I've I've been saving up a lot, and I started growing some potatoes and carrots over here for more composting. Um, and it's the farm farming's a mess, but I have. Where's my notebook? On the floor. Ugh. I have plans. 
I need a 17 by 15 area for my plans. And it might involve just a little bit of terraforming. Get out of my bed. My bed. Scooch your pooch. Huh. Oh, my scaffolding. Ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Maybe later we'll log back in and get our stuff back. And it'll be no biggie. But uh, right now, we need to mark out a, a huge area. Um, hold on. I need an overview lay of this land. Okay. Wow. The flower forest is only this color of grass. There's meadow, I think, is what that biome is past that. We've got macho goat on that hill. We've got the vault hunter village right over there. We've got our little fox gift. Um, and I don't think anybody else is living nearby. But this has been the main zone. <laughs> We've got that giant mess of a structure that could exist that wouldn't really blend well with the structure I want to build. It's um not that shape. <laughs> I have screenshots of what I'm gonna build. I built it in creative and I know what the floor plan is. It's kind of big. Are you gonna put it on the hill? And if so, what direction is it gonna face? Do we put it on this hill? I'm holding a pencil up to my screen and drawing a triangle because this, this structure is not quite a rectangle. It's like a rect it's it's rectangle-ish, but one of the corners is super lobbed off, so it's a it's 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 a shape. That could work. Putting it on that hill. We might have to finally remove the hat. But you know, it it was it was a long time coming for the hat. I think we can make that work. Especially since having the storage room close to the output of flower farm. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Let's uh, start laying out some blocks. Oh, lovely hat. I am so sorry. You were a great prank. And, um, that's the first time I've picked up red wool. And, and you came with a diamond, which is also pretty cool. <laughs> that diamond might genuinely go into a shovel, although I do have this almost dead shovel. I've been keeping almost dead tools in here because I I'm crazy and don't like breaking stuff. <laughs> I, I, I'm busy. <laughs> no thunderstorm while I'm busy. Anyway, um, it's got fortune. I kind of don't like it. But I think we're gonna turn this this diamond into a proper shovel for properness. I have a little drawing. It's not quite to scale because I don't have grid paper, um, but it's you know it's labeled with how long the edges should be, like a proper geometry diagram. <laughs> part of this build is taller than another part of this build. This would be the tallest corner. Could we could we deal with this if this were the tallest corner? Especially if that ends up dwarfing it later. I think we could. If we lay this out in the sky, then I don't have to worry about the terrain. Which is a very lazy option, but like, you know. Maybe I want to be a little lazy today. Just a bit. It sort of goes out and then back. I think, I think, I think this will work. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One, two, three. And then a good old fashioned so wiggy. So woogle. Gotta do some wiggly wooglies. Two. Three, and then there will be a door here, <laughs> but it's a diagonal door, so there'll be two doors here. 
to do one more. One, two, three, four, five, one. I should just go make some scaffolding. <laughs> I really should. Uh, hold on, random villager. I didn't ask to be here who has Noah's face. I'll get you a job soonish. I'll find you some purpose in life. Cool. I should just be playing, um, whatever it's called. More Dishonored. I just started it for the first time. I've never- I'm playing it on my own, but I'm playing it very slow. And it doesn't like to run on- my dinky little computer very easily. <laughs> but where did I goof with you? I bet that lag's too long. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. That's accurate. What else could be possibly wrong? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th. Okay? That... That's right! <laughs> what else is wrong? Oh, that's why. It's this leg right here, isn't it? If that's that pillar block, it's 4, not 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me just, uh... Do... Just, just take all this out. That's the starting diagonal, and then we add the doors in later. Okay. Okay. Situation resolved. Figured out what was wrong with my template. Now, <laughs> we go all the way back up into the sky and see if we like the placement of this build. I'm kind of digging it, but at the same time, kind of not. Should it be closer to that build? By like two blocks? Should I move, move the whole thing two blocks to the left? Kind of feeling, feeling that, to be honest. Two blocks to the left and two blocks down. It needs a two block shift. Everything needs to be moved two blocks over and a down. Yep, we're doing that. I have moved it. And I think it's better. I think it's better. Probably better. The only downside right now. The only downside right now is there is a, an unbreakable beehive right there. And I still don't have silk touch. <sighs> well, it's a start at the very least. We've got we've got a plan. And we've got a, we've got plans for two structures, even. And that that's good. That's good. Sure we've lost all of our stuff. But, you know. Where, where did I pillar up? Was it all the way on the end? It was all the way on the end. I, I feel a little bit more confident in our ability to have de <laughs> the Enderman by now. And to maybe, just maybe, be able to, uh, <sighs> get our stuff back. <laughs> I really want my stuff back. Uh, Operation save stuff attempt number 15 bajillion? Sure. Okay, but first things first. We are dropping off valuable things in here. We're, we're gonna bring a sword. We're gonna bring a couple of dirt blocks so we can pillar up. We're gonna bring... Not even- my lucky number is 13, so we're actually going to bring 13 pork chops. <sighs> we're, we're leaving behind my special golden helmet, but the rest of my armor I know we're going to need. The shield I just made, we have a copy of its banner, so <laughs> one more attempt, come on. Come on. Surely. It's, it's at least worth it to try, right? I'm gonna get stubborn, I know me. <gasps> okay. Slightly promising, now that they're not mad anymore. Are they mad? I cannot tell. We got the sword back. Chest plate? Dude, that guy's mad. That guy's mad. You're- you're mad. 
Okay. That was one. Put that there. Not there. The help our management. Okay, that was one. It was one. One Enderman. There's something there. There's something there. Okay. Okay. Come on. What do we got? Oh my gosh. Okay. That's more than nothing. Um, that's not my pickaxe. It is my nice boots. It is my nice bow that I just spent a lot of time making another one of. It's not my pickaxe. It's, uh... Okay, so we did lose some things. But we didn't lose everything. That being said, that only stays true if we can uh, get to safety right now. <laughs> Hey. Hi. Sure there's no There's something. Just don't look at them in the face. Yes! Aha! Okay. Our rescue mission was as successful as it could have been. <sighs> Well, we take those. <laughs> Maybe I'll go end trading for some better gear, but I probably won't. <laughs> okay, a little uh, beacon. Hello? What do you... Oh, this was the first step in a lore thing that we did all off camera? Um, feels so much safer already. Okay, let's get the hitboxes off. That was part of a lore thing that we mainly did off camera. It was, um, lore. Uh, we haven't actually finished it, but there's a chance that it will get finished right now. <laughs> I still lost most everything, but, well, at least we tried. <laughs> Uh, we lost our mending diamond helmet, and I'm fairly sad about that. And we lost our really good fortune three stick, but these are all replaceable things. Um, at least they should be. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I've just, whoa, I got a little overwhelmed. It's a little hot in my room because I can't have the fan on while I'm recording because noises, they get loud. Um... More diamond tools for your graveyard, my friend. Um, yeah, I have the word organizational issue. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> one of these bows was better. This one, obviously. The one with mending on it. <laughs> this one has flame, though. Eh, we... This is, this is a backup bow. Hello and welcome to the land of backup gear. Backup crafting table. Backup things. Some logs are always useful. We can put, you know, put that in there. We don't have a lot of things. Pork chop. I love you. I love all the other dogs too, but I don't need more right now. So they're gonna stay sitting <laughs> for this. Also, while we're here, um, and we can, Pork chop. Spelt correctly for you. <gasps> You're purple! What? You're not purple. Are you purple because you're my dog? That's insane. Alright, more name suggestions for pets in the comments, because that that that's cool. <sighs> wow. I need to log off for a bit. <laughs> It's been a few days. I've slept. I'm not recording this at 11pm. <laughs> I 
And also, I did some more terraforming, just little things around, and if you can see it over my head there, uh, we got a gift. I gave a gift of sweet berries and other useful things to Fearscape, and by the looks of things, Fearscape, aw, has given us something back. Which includes a silk touch pick. I looked at this earlier. I'm very happy to have this silk touch pick. Also a very nice chest plate, another sugar box, and a regen potion. So that's pretty cool. But also I have been grinding up some levels, as you can see, just at my little farms, and um, I've been smelting a lot of kelp. So I think it's about time we finally, finally get that updated gear that I mentioned I don't remember how long ago. And there's enough space in this chest for a barrel, because I am really in need of organizational space. <sighs> let me let me let me make a let me make a shulker box out of this. Shulker box. And I want it to be light blue. There we go. And boom. See now now they're like all very pastel. And you know what? I kind of like that. <laughs> okay. Helios is loaded up with everything we need. I haven't built my own enchanting table yet. I kind of want to put it in the builds that I want to finish today. I would like to finish it today. I'm sorry we got sidetracked for however long this video is up until this point for now. Probably like a 30 odd minutes. <laughs> uh, I know these videos are long. They're gonna stay long. <laughs> Okie dokie. Part of the reason we have all these backup tools is if we get a really good enchant that we want. But not like all of it, you know? You probably don't. So let's say this. Oh my gosh! Two? Two. I can't. I cannot willingly do that to myself. <laughs> Bane of Arthropods is good for the spider farm. So we try that. That's all we get. Well, we, uh... We probably don't like that, but moving on. That's much better. Much, much better. Yay! Aww. I'm feeling better now. So we're gonna anvil that with that. I'm sure our soul touch pick won't have efficiency, at least not for... not now. Um... Unless we get really lucky? We didn't. But while we're here, let's let's see if we can't get an efficiency axe. Okay. Um. Oh, a better axe. Oh, if we combine those together, we'll get an efficiency five and breaking three axe. So we're gonna combine those together. We're gonna. <laughs> um. Uh. Well, now we're now we're at sub. Whatever the number was. So now now we're anviling things together. So. Here's our, here's our fortune pick, but doesn't need unbreaking on it, so this is, there we go, that's a fortune pick, <laughs> uh, 13, 7, we like 7, very good, we still have this fortune 2 shovel, um, we'll, we'll keep it for now. It, it could go eventually, but, you know, here we are. And a mediocre sword. Well, I bet we can do better with the sword. I know, I know we can. I know we could do better with the sword. In fact, I'm going to take this grindstone and do that and that. That's not enough to do better with the sword right now. But it is enough to do better with the sword later. Okay. 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 Much better gear. Much, much more improved. Let's leave a donation of lapis to everybody else. Because that sound is hilarious. I love it. <laughs> And I think we head out on our way. Much improved. <laughs> now we can actually build. Uh, 
You also put some more puzzle around through the power of bone meal. And you can shear and put grass on top of the puzzle again. So it looks a little better around. I think we need more like moss and stuff, maybe gravel too. I haven't worked out all the details yet. And also, what if buildings go in places? Then you end up tearing up the landscape anyway. But now that we have Silk Touch on a pickaxe, which is a tool of any variety, we can make sure that's the one that we're holding and move you! And this too. Very good. Also, we can um, grab an extra campfire from over here that I thought would be useful, but is not. Oh, these random blocks of scaffolding that are around, those are for eventual custom tree locations. I eventually want trees there. But we can do that. And over here, we can do like this and that and get the flowers away from the base so that hopefully the bees don't hurt themselves because <laughs> they keep doing that. It's a shame. Thank you. I think we just need to start building after we sleep. Structure were to look pretty and pristine and new, it might be basically done. But that's not what we're building today. Let's ruin it! crackling of the campfires. I can hear it. I can hear it in the build. Oh, it's exciting. It's exciting. It is all ruined and ruins of a structure that structured. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of lore set up yet. Um, although I've been told other people might have it differently in places either nearby or not nearby. I don't know. But as you can see, this is going to be a storage room. We needed one of these. <laughs> oh, we needed one of these bad. So we have got lots of chests. It's a different setup than last season. We can't easily put item frames on these little bottom chests, but I wanted slab there as opposed to four high because of the windows and how I wanted the lights to look. I'm, I'm, mm, I might raise the lights by a block. I probably will. Hmm. What if I just try it real quick? I started by building the uh, vibe of the more organized structure. And then I ruined it. I, I find it easier to build that way than trying to figure out how you're going to do it all while you're doing it. Eh. Um. You know what I could do? Every other light's lifted up. I could, I could do that. It'd be a little funky, especially since there's one clearly missing from the pattern right here. But uh, this lamp would go up a block. Oh, I have the vanilla tweaks thing that makes levers obviously on. Um, if it's off, then it's flat stone and probably looks better. I kind of like the striper red right now, but I also don't want to mess with my vanilla tweaks right now. So that's <laughs> that's staying. Uh, this empty corner is going to be a custom tree. I just don't want to build it right now. <laughs> so I don't have the resources. I don't have the leaves. 
I don't even know if I wanted to have leaves. I kind of want to be dead, but everything else is covered in leaves, so it would make more sense if the tree had leaves, but I don't have the kind of leaves I'd want for it. Because I want these leaves to be like vines. Also, maybe it's just the biome, but in creative this looked better. as like a cool combo. But I have a sneaking suspicion that because of the biome they're very different, and maybe I should use a different leaf combo for a two-leaf thing. Or maybe I just need all the leaves, for all I know. <laughs> I might also do more leaves here. I might bring in some regular old vines. Uh, glowberries could be good. I haven't uh, done the tower yet. I don't know if, how deep I want it to go, but I'm pretty sure my enchanting setup is going to go at the bottom of this thing because the top is, again, ruined. Look at how ruined it is. Look at those copper trapdoors that are aged, but not too much because the blue looked not the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I was uh, lifting this middle guy right here. I think this structure is, oops, <laughs> a good indicator for general vibes of the build, of the area that I want to build in, of everything I want to do with it. There we go. Nice and pretty. Uh, except for the missing tree right now. And also, uh, this is a storage room without a bedroom. That will be fixed with tree, probably. Prob I want to build secret room in the tree. I want to build the secret room of the tree. That's that's a given, man. Like, secret room and tree is so cool. <laughs> uh, Potzel has been dotted around through the power of mining it with a silk touch pickaxe, which is boring and slow, and I'm not a fan. We've lit up the close perimeter per 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 perimeter <laughs> with glow lichen, subtle lighting. It should all be spawn proof. It probably isn't. Uh, but up here, up, you can. You can See it, there's there's unspawnable there we go. Blocks, there's glow like in to make sure that doesn't happen. These are soul campfires with hay bales underneath. So we get all the smoke. I thought it would look cool. Add some movement to the base. Just you know, it's I like it. We've got lots of chests. Hopefully this will be enough. If it's not enough, I called it. <laughs> Any more interior stuff, we're gonna have to get done next episode. Any more tree stuff, next episode, or later episodes, or far in the future, or never, I don't know. But with this build, all nice and wrapped up, <sighs> this episode was a doozy. But I hope, I'm glad that any of you who stuck around to the end did. It's probably close to like two of you. You know what, I don't care. <laughs> I like how it looks at night. And once we get more structures with this general vibe in here, I think we're gonna get this place looking all nice and fancy. That'll leave us for today. <laughs> you can like this video if you liked it. You may also subscribe if you wish. You don't have to do either things, just follow your dreams. There's other videos on this channel you can watch as well. Uh, uploads are probably gonna slow down because you might be able to hear the monsoon rains outside. It's summer monsoon season here, and which means summer is almost ending, which means college time for me. But this will probably be the last video recorded, Minecraft video anyway, recorded in this location. So it might be a while before I see you again. But that's okay. <laughs> anyway, I've been Glacy. This has been Vanilla Ice Cream SMP. I will see you all next time. Goodbye!